Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at the DC Collectibles Orion. He's pretty cool, but so disappointing because articulation isn't there. It's really a step back for DC Collectibles because the recent figures had a ton of articulation and I don't know why they didn't do it this one. They should they should have also added like a flight stand so it looked like he's hovering in midair, but nah, I guess not. But it's still cool though, this uh, harness scooter thing, whatever, his astro scooter. It does this pegging right here on the bottom. There's two pegs, and these things can go up and down too, if you're wondering. But they do break off, so don't worry, they, they're they supposed to break off. Oh, I'm sure they're supposed to break off, but I don't know if that's the whole point, because they do break off easy. Look, you can just pretty much pull it off. It pulled off on me when I was trying to um, take it out of his hand. And here's the bad part about this figure. It's so freaking hard to peel these hands open. They're like super hard. And it's so freaking hard to stuff the freaking hand on the bar. So you have to pretty much make it look like it's grabbing it. Even though it's not grabbing it. So I don't know why they did that. But other than that, the scooter is pretty cool. You can like put it on a different figure if you want. So yeah, let's take him out of the scooter. Or Astro Harness. Whatever you want to call it. I call it scooter because that's the easier way. So you just take it off. Then you unpeg it right here. These do rotate up and down. I'll show you. So there is... Oh, did I break it? Nope. <laughs> so there is articulation on the scooter right here on the bottom. They do go up and down. If you guys are wondering. No detail on the bottom. But they do hinge up and down. So the face mask does go up. And you do get his face. It looks nice. Looks just like how he does in the comics. With his red eyes too. I like to put it down because it looks cooler. And it kind of does look like Ant-Man. His head does swivel. And you would think there's an ab crunch right here. I thought there was one too. It looks hidden. I thought it would be like one of those ab crunches where like it looks like there's clothing over it. And you can just do that. But there's none. That really irritates me. Because on the Deadstorm figure, they had that kind of articulation where it looks like he's wearing clothes. But there's hidden articulation under it. I don't know why they didn't do it with this figure. I really don't know why. And what drives me crazy about this figure is... It has these kind of freaking legs again. It can only go forward and back, but it can't freaking go out. I don't know why they put that, man. And what pisses me off more is that they have this thigh cut right here. Why would they add that but not this? I really don't know why they did that. It could have been so much of a better figure if it had that. And it has no hinge on the hands. It just has a rotation, which makes me more mad. They really needed an ab crunch for this figure. Uh, ab crunch, or at least let the legs spread out, man. That's what makes this figure suck. But other than that, it's a pretty decent figure. Everything's sculpted on nicely, especially, like, the bodysuit or the biker-style jacket. It does look nice. It makes it look like it's actually a jacket on the toy, but it isn't. Because there's a freaking ab crunch. I don't know why that pisses me off so much, but... God damn it. I really thought there was going to be an ab crunch. So, yeah, that's been my review on this toy. It's pretty cool, but don't be super excited when you take it out because there's not that much articulation on it. Just your basic old DC Direct style, not collectibles, articulation. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And here's another look of his face. And here's another look. And here's another look. And here's another look. God damn it. Why didn't they add that? Why? It looked like it had it too. I'm so disappointed. But... I'm super excited at the same time because I really do like this character. Does he have a waist twist? Yes, he has a waist twist, which looks really ugly. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye.